color is usually the second question that you ask your friend who just told you that he bought a new car. The first question is which car and the second question is which color. My name is uh, Francois Ferrian. I'm 57. I am the director for color and trim at Group Prono. After the war, Paul Marot wrote directly to uh, Pierre Le Faucheux about uh, the cars being not really uh, in the mood of the times. He finally decided to create one of the first color and trim department in automotive. For many years, she created a lot of pastel colors together with the fabrics matching the, the exterior. And she created something that was very uh, unique in this uh, industry and um, quite the basis for the work that we are doing today at Renault. We try to put a little bit more color, a little bit of more life in the streets. If we go back to the analysis that we received every year about what percentage of colors are sold, we often see that actually Renault is selling about 10 points more colors than the rest of the industry. Clio uh, 4 was launched. There was a first attempt to have a very, very deep shade of red, which was representing desire, which what uh, Lawrence Van Den Acker wanted his show car to express. He asked relentlessly uh, to get this shade of red in production, and we finally got it, which is called Rouge Flamme, Flame Red. This color has been extremely successful and very chromatic, very strong. The future is more to work on other elements that just the full body of a color. One big thing is the two-tone. 80% of all captures that have been produced with two-tone colors. We went from uh, putting the colors in the street to something that is a little bit more subtle and a little bit more sophisticated.